Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. We will be solving a very easy string problem. Here we are given a definition of a pangram. A pangram is a sentence in which all the 26 characters of the English alphabet are present. Hence, a pangram must contain all the characters from A till Z. So given a sentence, we have to check whether it's a pangram or not. And if it is a pangram, we have to return true, else we have to return false. Now let's look at an example. Here in this sentence, we can find all the characters A, B, C and so on till Z. Hence this is a pangram. In the second example, we cannot find the character A in the given sentence. Hence this is not a pangram. Let's look at how we can solve this problem. We have to find all the 26 characters in our sentence. Hence for each character we have to search whether it exists in the sentence or not. For example we have to search whether A exists in the sentence. And similarly we have to search B and so on. The time complexity of this would be. Since for each of the 26 characters we have to check the entire sentence it would be O of 26N. And the space complexity would be. We won't be needing any extra space, hence it would be constant. Let's look at another solution for this. We can use a hash set to store all the characters that we have found in the sentence. For example, we would be storing the characters T, H, E in our hash set. And when we encounter T again, we won't be adding it again to the hash set since it already exists over there. At the end, we will be checking if our hash set has 26 characters or not. Here, the time complexity would be O of n because we will be going through the sentence only once. And the space complexity would be O of 26 because we will be storing all the 26 characters in the hash set, which is basically the same as O of 1. Now let's implement our solution. We have to create a hash set from our sentence and then check if its length is equal to 26. This part would create a hash set from our sentence. And then we have to check whether its length is equal to 26 or not. Let's submit our solution. As you can see, our solution is accepted. If you have any concerns about this solution, please mention in the comments. If you thought this video was helpful, Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.